This study came out in 2019 and left people scratching their head. It compared an ultra-processed food to an unprocessed food diet and looked at energy intake and weight gain. Unsurprisingly, the ultra-processed food diet ate 500 extra calories and gained about 1 kilogram, whereas the unprocessed diet lost about 1 kilogram. With that being said, on the unprocessed food diet, it was tracked that the participants actually ate in a caloric surplus. This top line being caloric intake, and this third line being caloric expenditure. During all three weeks of the diet, caloric intake was higher than caloric expenditure. With that being said, here's what the authors had to say. Due to the increase in insoluble or unabsorbable fiber, the unmetabolizable energy of the unprocessed food diet was about 330 calories a day, putting their caloric expenditure versus caloric intake almost perfectly in line with the weight that they lost. This has many people thinking, can I just take a fiber supplement? Well, the ultra-processed food group did take a fiber supplement, but it didn't appear to be nearly as effective at mitigating weight gain compared to the whole food iron consumed in the unprocessed food diet, despite the diets actually being almost matched for fiber intake. This isn't the first time we've seen this, as many studies indicate that increasing fiber decreases the digestibility of protein, fat, and carbohydrates. With that being said, this has a lot of people asking, does it decrease our absorption of micronutrients? It simply depends on the type of fiber. A study looking at non-digestible oligosaccharides in the absorption of non-heme iron and calcium indicated that inulin, the fiber used, did not adversely impact the absorption of iron or calcium. And this abstract actually indicated that some fibers increase the absorption of minerals, which actually fits in line with this study indicating that short-chain fructooligosaccharides actually increase magnesium absorption in postmenopausal women. And this study, looking at the long-term intake of a high-fiber diet, indicated there was no difference in micronutrient status on a 51-month high-fiber diet. So fiber appears to be detrimental to the absorption of calories, but not nearly as detrimental to the absorption of micronutrients. But luckily, it's also detrimental to the absorption of heavy metals, in which dietary fiber intake is inversely related to serum heavy metal concentrations. So in most cases, fiber is simply a win-win. But if you already have a micronutrient deficiency, it may be advantageous to use any micronutrient supplement or put any micronutrient-dense meal away from an extremely high-fiber supplement or meal. With that being said, if you would like an individualized approach to nutrition and lifestyle to optimize your health, energy, and body composition, send me a DM to sign up for coaching.